You know what time it is, people. What is going on, on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Far. Today, Ricky has gone and bought himself another car. You know what? I'm not even going to lie to you. I've owned this car for about three months. So I went to buy this car before the GTR. It's taken that long to get this car ready. Obviously, all the corona situation, all the DVLA situation has been a massive delay. But as I mentioned, I went to buy this before the GTR. And you know, you've got them odd people. Like, you get on the phone, you try to buy the car, and it's like they don't want to sell you it. That's what happened with this car. So. I ended up going to buy an R35 GTR, obviously we're doing the build now. After that, I decided I'm going to build a car collection. You know, I've got the M5 now, I've got the Hellcat, uh, we've got the GTR, we've now got this car. I'm telling you, you're going to love this car. It's in absolute mint condition. And uh, yeah, it's been hard to keep it away from you. I've dropped one hint on Instagram, one hint the whole time. Just a number plate I dropped. Some of you are going to know what it is. Believe it or not, I've not even driven this car yet. I've purposely made sure that this time I get the first drive on camera. Obviously today we're just going to go over the car. But anyway, look, it's my birthday. I'm 33 years old today. I thought I'd tie it in with like a birthday style reveal. Also, some of you may be wondering where I'm located. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll explain exactly where it is we are. So let me show you my new car. Are you seeing it, people? Evo 6. Ricky's just taking a piss this year, man. What you're looking at right now is, without fail, my favorite car. And I'm not talking just an Evo 6, I'm talking any Evo. I've been out in the Evo 5, Evo 6, Evo 7, Evo 8, Evo 9, 10. Highly modified, not as modified. And every time I get into one, I'm absolutely blown away. If any of you have got friends that own an Evo, try and get a passenger ride in it. If you can get a drive, this is voted as my second favorite car on the channel. Remember the black Evo that I went out in? Um, I'm just gassed that I actually own an Evo 6. And it's not even a normal GSR, it's actually an RS. RS standing for Rally Sport. It's actually a lightweight, more track focused version of the Evo 6. It's just beautiful, look at it, man. Look at it. Nah, man, nah. That there for me, that's what I want in a car. All wheel drive, two litre turbocharged engine. 276 horsepower from factory. Ricky's done it different this year. Look at the chicken wing. Look at the number plate. E6 LLF, Evo 6, living life fast. It's tradition on this channel. What's this fly think he's doing? They love white cars, don't they? So the main reason why this car is taking so long to get ready is it's actually a Japanese import. It was located in the UK when I purchased it, but it hadn't been registered on the UK road. I am the first registered owner of this car. It's only got 35,000 kilometers on the clock. I think that's about 20, 21, 22,000 miles, if I'm correct. It's got a few stickers on the car. I think the previous Japanese owner did do a few track days in this. There are a few small modifications. It's just such a good example. I really don't know what to do with it. Originally, I was like, right, I'm buying an Evo. I'm fucking going six, 700 brake. But the condition of this car, I just, I don't even know if I can do it, man. Cannot wait to take it out on the road. I've genuinely not driven it. And like I said, if you go to any video that I've been out in the Evo, I lose my mind every single time. The handling on these cars, let me tell you, I'm a massive BMW fanatic. You guys know I love M cars. To me, the Evos have got like the front end of an M3, but they've got the all wheel drive safety. So you know the rear ain't gonna step out, you know you're not gonna completely lose it. So this being the Rally Sport, it actually has a few different parts. So for starters, it's lighter. GSRs weigh around 1,350 kilos. This being around 100 kilos lighter. I'll quickly show you a bit of the interior. I'm not sure what the lighting's like in here right now, but yeah, man. I'm like, yeah, man, yeah. That didn't sound right. First thing I'll look into is removing these stickers. As I mentioned, the previous owners from Japan and uh, clearly done a few track days. But I've got to be careful because by removing them, it could be a little bit of fading. You know, the paint, I don't know, it may not match. You've got the wide arches. The previous owner also put on these 17 inch baller alloys. Uh, I think it's an aftermarket exhaust, possibly aftermarket suspension. Obviously this being a, a rally sport, there are 
a few differences between the GSR, we'll get into that in a sec. I've always wanted to own a white on white car and what better car to choose than an Evo 6 to do that combo on. Something to let you know that this is an RS are the black door handles, also the black mirror covers. With the normal GSRs, they'll be body colored. Got all these crazy scoops and bonnet vents. Uh, down here on the normal GSRs, you would actually have fog lamps. With here, you've just got covers. This one's actually got an air duct on the right side. You can see the intercooler up front there. So as mentioned a few times now, you've got the Evo 6 GSRs, you've got the RS, which this is. You've also got an RS2, which was like a combination of the GSR and the RS. You also had an RS Extreme, and then there was also the Tommy Mackinnon, which is the more famous version. There was a rally driver called Tommy Mackinnon who was a WRC champion four times. So they actually named the car after him. So the GSR was the more daily drivable Evo 6. It had electric windows, electric mirrors. It had air conditioning. It would have had softer suspension. It had the Recaro bucket style seats. Uh, it had the normal five-speed manual gearbox. So it had taller gears. You know, you had an audio system, whereas this RS was a little bit different. For starters, you don't get the Recaro seats, you get these more cheaper looking, obviously lighter seats. This is from like a lower model from the Mitsubishi range. Uh, you get a shortened five speed close ratio gearbox. You also get a proper mechanical limited slip diff. You don't get the active yaw control. That's going to contribute towards making this car lighter as well. Don't quote me on this, but I'm sure I read up that it had thinner glass as well. Uh, I'm not sure if that was an optional extra, but yeah, you could have thinner glass. The shell itself was a lot stiffer. It also had a different suspension, so it would have obviously been more focused uh, for track driving. No air conditioning, no electric windows, no central lock-in. This is like an E46 M3 CSL. Sorry to bring up BMW right now, but look, you've got manual windows. You have to lock every door yourself. I just love what this car is, man. It's just a pure driving car. That's all it's for. You are looking at a genuine rally car for the road. Until you go out in one, you won't understand, but in my opinion, the high speed stability, like you can be doing 120, 130 in these cars, right? And they're so stuck to the ground. They inspire so much confidence. Speaking about confidence, the GSRs are supposed to be the easier cars to drive on the road. So if the back does step out, you don't have to do as much correction. Whereas these RSs, the back's completely suing out. So you have to catch the slides. And if you see some of the videos I've been out in these Evo 6, I think specifically I went out in a silver one. That car was literally, he was sending it sideways into every corner. So this car is definitely the more capable version. And obviously the type of track driving the Evo 6 is going to be used for, you need the back end to obviously step out, but you definitely got to be a bit more of a certified driver uh, to, to own a car. And for me, I love the back stepping out in the car. So it's going to be interesting to see what this car's like on the limit. I just, um, yeah, I'm just loving this car, man. I can't wait to get out on the road. I'm trying to save a genuine first drive video on this. Yeah, man, I got my Evo 6. Something I nearly forgot to mention is the TD05 turbocharger, and this had a titanium turbine wheel. So it helped to spool up a little bit quicker, I think 250 RPM more. Uh, but yeah, power's exactly the same as the GSR, 276 horsepower, 275 foot-pounds of torque. Not to 60 was around four and a half seconds. I think I've seen some people quoting 4.4, the RS being a little bit quicker. Um, top speed, you know, these cars are going to easily do 150, 160 miles per hour. But this car isn't about top speed. It's about the way they handle, the way they drive on the limits. And obviously we know how tunable these Evos are. You can do some really light mods on these and you can get them to like 400 horsepower. This could already be tuned, I'm not too sure. So we see that red flashing light down here. I've actually had an alarm and a mobilizer already installed. It's got a turbo timer as well, which was already installed by the previous owner. But uh, yeah, let's just have a little look. It's a bit dark in here. Let me sort out the light in here, man. We need a bit more. Check this out. Let's get that dim down just a little bit. Loving these lights in there. So that's a little bit better. Uh, interior wise, you can see it's really, really clean. The seats have got no scuffs, no scratches, no tears. The door cards are clean. You've got this aftermarket steering wheel. You can see here, you've got this plastic panel, which is where the audio system probably would have been. As I say, no air conditioning. Yeah, like even the Astra, you can see it's basically new. The speedo, you can see it's limited to 180 kilometers. I was actually gonna get this changed to miles per hour, but I just thought, let me just leave it original. Maybe in time, I could put a digital speedo. Up here is something to do with the immobilizer and the alarm I had installed. It's got a turbo timer as well. Driving the Evo on the limit, it's like you're in fast forward. You go through gears so quick. The gears are so short, and obviously this being a close ratio gearbox is obviously gonna be more suited for track driving. Quick look in the boot. And under the bonnet, oi! Boot is so light, it weighs 
absolutely nothing, man. Look, I'm doing that with my fingertips. It's actually had the battery relocated to the boot. There's also a rear strut brace. As you see, it's just really bare. You can just see the shell. Everything is about saving weight. Oy. So there she is, the 4G63, two litre turbocharged engine. It's an inline four cylinder. As mentioned earlier, I don't know if you can see, it's got a TDO5 turbocharger. This specific one, it's got a titanium turbine wheel. And it's actually the first ever production car to have a titanium turbine wheel. Quicker spool, it's got this Ram Air induction kit. This is obviously aftermarket. It's got the front strut brace and uh, it is sitting on aftermarket suspension. I'll probably see what it's like on the road and possibly we could change that out. But yeah, the bay, it's in beautiful condition. This is definitely a genuine Evo 6 RS. I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's modified, but I couldn't care. Uh, I've been chatting to different people. As I say, the original plan was to go crazy on a build. I'm not saying we're not going to, but we'll see in it in time because these cars are about handling, man. It's not about just, look, we've got the M5 crazy horsepower. We've got the GTR crazy horsepower. This car, I'm just thinking, this, this needs to be a driver's car. Maybe make it reliable for the track. Do you know what I mean? I think you've got to drive something needs to make them reliable on track. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what happens. Maybe a light tune, suspension, big brakes. I've only driven this car inside this unit. And let me tell you, the brakes, they are so sharp. It's actually running Toyo proxy tires. As I say, it's got the boiler, 17 inch wheels. So guys, I'm gonna end the video in a sec. Obviously, I'll get the first drive video up on the Evo 6 ASAP. Genuinely cannot wait to drive this car. I've not driven it yet. Imagine that, I've had it probably sitting for about a week and I've not driven it. In here, I've reversed it a few times. But um, yeah, obviously I've got loads of other content to get up, M5, GTR and Hellcat content. I'm gonna be back at JM Imports next week. And the last thing I wanna tell you guys, I know some of you are wondering where I'm filming today. Well, I am so excited to announce that this is actually my new unit. This is all mine, guys. This is actually where I'm gonna be filming all of my videos moving forward. This is the LLF hub, the LLF headquarters, whatever you wanna call it. But you're gonna to have to join me for another video where I'll take you for a little tour and show you exactly what I've had done in there. Now I've told you that this is actually my unit. Let me just give this car the last plug because the competition ends today at midnight. You still have a chance at winning the C46 M3 for just £9.99. There's probably around four or 500 tickets left. I've already gone over the spec of this car. It's in absolute mean condition. The lighting's not too great in here, but I'll be going live in my unit this Thursday on the LLF Games Facebook. Obviously, I've not mentioned yet, but I've got a six and a half meter TV here where I'll try to do the live draw with the car parked up here. Lighting will be nice and set up. I can't wait, man. I'm so gassed right now. But yeah, guys, ticket link is in the description. As I say, you can still win this car. Someone is guaranteed 1,000% gonna be winning this car on Thursday. So I've repeated myself about 10 times, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, bye.